Captain America needs my help. When do we start? We just did. They did a good job of making him his own entity. I feel like when you look at Sam Wilson and when you watch this movie, you know, there's nothing uh, uh, unforgiving or cheap about him. I feel like he's a, he's a stand-up guy, he's a morally sound guy. He works with Captain America and follows him through this, um, this ordeal because he believes in him. He believes in the American dream, he believes in what America stands for at that time. Uh, so I think that says a lot about him. Coming up on the drop zone, Cap. You do anything fun Saturday night? Well, all the guys in my barbershop quartet are dead, so no, not really. When we first find um, Natasha and Steve, it's been, you know, it's kind of real time. So since Avengers, you know, whatever, it's been a couple years or so, and they have been tasked on many different missions together. Um, they're kind of just doing their job. Um, business as usual, they've gotten to know each other a bit. You know, so they have a more of a conversation, easy conversation between them than in Avengers, and that's kind of where we find her. You know, if you ask Kristen out from statistics, you'd probably say yes. That's why I don't ask. Too shy or too scared? Too busy. Was he wearing a parachute? No. No, he wasn't. On this film, I think we really get to show Cap advancing in his skills and stepping up the fighting a bit more. You know, I think, especially after Avengers, you see how amazing everyone on that team is and what they bring to the table. Cap needs to offer more than just a few good punches and kicks. So the Russos and I all agreed we want to make this. They had some great references um, from things like the raid and even the Captain America video game. The Captain America video game, he moves very well in the game. And I would play the game and say, man, this is how Cap should be moving. And it was a really acrobatic approach to fighting. So they said we should put you in gymnastics class, or I don't know who said it first, but either way, gymnastics classes happened and they were great. I had a really good time. Most of the intelligence community doesn't believe he exists. The ones that do call him the Winter Soldier. He's a ghost. You'll never find him. It's pretty scary what's out there in terms of, you know, we've always dealt with this idea of brainwashing. We've always, we've always had these ideas of what a Manchurian candidate would be. We've always had these ideas of you know, creating a super soldier and sort of like healing quickly. And so all, all these things um, have made the comic books for me far more significant than, a, than I, than at first glance. I joined S.H.I.E.L.D. to protect people. Captain. To build a better world? Sometimes means tearing the old one down. I think this film will probably bring a, a fresh new look to it because of that reality. So when you mix reality with some of the extreme stuff that goes on, I think it's probably gonna make it more interesting. S.H.I.E.L.D. takes the world as it is, not as we'd like it to be. This isn't freedom, this is fear. We all know that this is sort of a special franchise and that we're in a special place because we're doing it. <laughs>